adding buttons to your Flash Movie. Like image and text, you can also add buttons to your Flash Movie. Buttons make your Flash Movie interactive because they can be clicked to either change the seek time, open a website, or play or pause your Flash Movie. Let's cover some common uses of buttons. If you're creating a Flash intro for your website, it is generally a good idea to add a skip movie button at the bottom for people who are in a hurry. This can be easily accomplished by adding a button like this here and assigning an action to open up a website page in the same window when the button is clicked. Since we want to make sure that our button shows throughout the movie, we just set the start time and end time of it equal to the whole movie time. Furthermore, all buttons have a special property which can be used to automatically pause the Flash movie when the button appears. Here is a quick example to help you understand this property. First we add a button, then inside the properties panel, check this box to pause the movie when the button appears. Now as I play the movie you will notice that upon reaching this button it has automatically paused itself. But since we haven't assigned any click action to this button, clicking the button does not do anything. To remedy that, we must select one of the following actions shown here. For the purpose of this demo, I will assign it a play pause action so that upon clicking the button, the movie will start playing again. Finally, for advanced users, this Jump to Time property is a great way to create inline navigation inside your Flash movies. What this basically does is helps you create super interactive Flash movies using buttons. Again, this feature is for expert users only and 9 out of 10 people may not need this feature. But nonetheless, let me give you a short demo just to show you how it works. Let's start a new movie called Rock Band. We will create three sections bio, show pictures, and contact. In the first screen, we will put these buttons here for each section. Now let's put a text item here to show the band's bio. We will now position the start time and end time for these items from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. Next we put up some pictures of a recent show and set them to appear between 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Lastly, here is a text item with the band's contact information. So we have a simple flash movie for our rock band, but now we need to make it interactive. So, 
First of all, we need to set the property of this button to automatically pause the movie when the seek bar reaches here. Next, we need to connect the buttons to the appropriate time, so when clicked, our seek bar jumps to the appropriate time where that section starts. The bio items are placed between 10 to 20 seconds, so our jump time for this button would be 10 seconds. The picture items are located at 20 seconds, so the jump time of this button is 20 seconds. And finally, we set this one to 30 seconds for the contact information screen. Looks like our movie is almost done, except for two small things. First, there is now a way for a user to come back to the navigation screen, and secondly, our movie keeps running until the end once navigation is started. But Both of these can be fixed by adding a home button to each section which will not only pause the movie when it appears, but upon clicking also take the user back to the navigation screen. Our movie is now complete and ready for publishing. Thanks for watching.